Welcome, I'm Eric Myers with Myers Mushrooms. Today I'm gonna to be answering a couple frequently asked questions about the, the flow hoods that we sell and just a general update on the units that we now inventory. So these are now US made units. Previously we sold made in China units that were a little bit smaller and uh, they weren't as reliable as these units. They, they had issues with the wiring, they had issues with the motors. So we have since switched to the larger US made units. These were metric, so they were actually 22 by 46. These are a true 20, two by four, so they are 24 by 48. So you get an extra two inches of height and two inches of width, which especially if you're working with an XLSA bag, you can see it's kind of working towards the top of that filter face. Whereas with a US unit, you have a good six to eight inches of space to work in with your scoop or your bag or whatever you're doing. So that's one major advantage of the US main units. A couple common questions with these is the filter, the primary filter life expectancy. The primary filter should last 10 plus years with proper care. Now you don't want to be getting spawn or sawdust or liquid culture in the filter material, right? So as long as it's not getting physically damaged, it should last a very long time. The, the number one thing you can do to, to prevent your, your primary filter from being clogged up is replacing your pre-filter, which is in the back, that's 20 by 20 by one. We also stock those, have them available on the website. And um, the, other, the other thing that I, I commonly get asked is how often should you turn it on or, or how, how long before should you turn it on before you're using it? The correct answer for that is it should always be on. If you're doing it for a business, have that room clean, squeaky clean, take your new flow hood, plug it in and leave it plugged in 24 seven. That makes it to where that room is always being scrubbed and there's no chance of dust settling on the filter face. Because once you get dirt spores in that filter face, it's next to impossible to get those spores out of there. So by leaving it on, it'll prevent any dust from settling in the filter face. Some other questions we get is, is the velocity. People are saying that it's very slow. These only flow about 100 to 200 feet per minute. Um, and, and that's not very fast. That's one to two miles an hour. So you're barely gonna feel it on your skin and a lot of people use the lighter test to try to see how it's flowing. That's really not a, a, a valid way to test how fast it's flowing. If you want to test it, you want to get an anemometer. So the anemometer will test the wind speed. This is a Hold Peak 866 Bravo. This is one that will register at the lower speeds because some of them, they, they won't capture that one to two miles an hour. It just won't spin that slow. So other things that have changed since previously selling their other units is that we don't ship these UPS or FedEx anymore. They only ship freight. We found that shipping them with, you know, as a parcel, they would get damaged too much. So the shipping is a little bit more than what it was previously, but in the end, it's a much more consistently delivered product. It's not gonna get damaged in shipping. Besides the, this flow head that you see here, which is a, a, the countertop standard unit, we also have the wall mount bracket unit available. That's really nice because you get a little bit more table space because it's not taking up any table space. So it allows you to run it all the way at the back of your, your table, giving you that full 30 inches to work in. That also brings up another good point of how close do you need to be to your filter. Some people, when they're first starting off, they'll be right up against the filter face, you know, with the Petri dish or the bag, thinking they, that that's where all the clean air is. We work 30 inches back or 28 inches back right here. That's more than enough filtered air in that envelope still to be working in. So you don't want to be working right up on it. You're more likely to physically damage the filter face or get some kind of foreign uh, material in there. So, so make sure you're spaced out a little bit. After the, the wall mount unit, we also have the cabinet enclosure. The cabinet enclosure takes the unit and puts it upright and it goes into a downflow. And the biggest advantage of that is if you're in a small space and um, you don't want to lose that square footage to the unit. So if you're in like an eight by eight closet or something to, to that matter where it's small, you might want to consider getting the cabinet. So we have that. We also have the tables in stock. The tables are made in California, made in the US, United States. They're definitely not the cheapest option, but these are full stainless steel construction. A lot of the cheaper, cheaper tables that you see that are made in overseas, they are galvanized under under construction and stainless steel top, whereas this is full stainless steel legs, stainless steel under shelf, stainless steel under support. So it's a, it'll last a lifetime, right? 
So that's just the latest update on our products. Um, overall, these, this is a much better product than the Chinese units that we previously sold, so I'm, I'm very happy that we can sell them. Check out MyersMushrooms.com to order one. We do have them in stock, ready to ship. So hopefully you like this video. Take it easy. Keep on mushrooms.